Ladies and gentlemen, to reach rank one on the leaderboards, we've talked about it before, but it takes um, usually playing a little bit of a different meta than the normal. Um, so this team I'm going to be going over today doesn't have Vigoroth in it at all, but they re reached rank one on the leaderboard, 3,300 in like 12 rating. Um, the person is Crescent Angels. So the team is uh, a Shadow um dragonite so shadow dragonite is very frail in great league but the good thing about it in this league is that there's a lot in this meta that is uh not great against flying so you at least have some resistances so one thing to note is obviously pretty good against vigoroth and we'll go over some of the matchups during the games but um yeah you do need shields for uh shadow dragonite anyways the team is shadow dragonite in the lead and uh, Skarmory probably for the end game, and then usually we go with Safe Swap Claude Sire. So some of the interesting things here is Claude Sire is actually really weak against a lot of the water meta here. Um, not necessarily Mantine, but um, Quagsire is pretty tough for this team. It's okay though because the good thing about Shadow Dragonite is you have a lot of upfront damage, so your fast attack damage is crazy good. So you're always going to be able to pressure things uh, that aren't just like dominant matchups for the for the opponent. So one of those dominant matchups is Steelix. That can be really tough in the lead. The really good thing is though that um, having Shadow Dragonite instead of something like Altaria means that you do have the um access to superpower which is going to be super effective against uh steelix there actually ends up doing something like 70 percent damage so that's a ton so you really are trying to get some shields down scenarios for dragonite to thrive even in the horrific leads such as that all right let's go ahead and get into the games but first if you haven't like the video um helps me out in the algorithm ignore that and um yeah subscribe to the channel if you like seeing uh videos from me so let's get into it all right alteria lead this can be tough what i like to do though is to go dragon claw and then switch into skarmory um skarmory not really going to be taking a lot of damage here from the alteria so giving them um a chance to pick something that Maybe they don't want to go into, but this is obviously Charger Bug, not great. Although we definitely do get to get to a Brave Bird here, which is pretty nice. Um, we're not going to KO or anything, but, you know, it's going to do a lot of damage. Um, we do already have a Shield Advantage, which is nice, and Claude Sire does destroy this, so actually just going to come in with Claude Sire, farm all the way down. Going to make sure to have an Energy Advantage against Altaria uh, if it does come back in. Altaria is obviously in Stone Edge range at this point. I think we left the Altaria with something like... 40% HP um, just from the fast attacks alone. So, I mean, they also left our Dragonite around 35-40% as well. But now we have a ton of energy here on Claude Sire. They do end up coming back in with the Altaria. We go for the CMP, which is not great for me. But I did not know that they were going to get out the move. So um, definitely would have farmed up a little more. But this is fine too. Maybe we're going to see what their last thing is. It could be Vigoroth in the back. Does end up being Sableye. Um... I'm just going to go straight for Earthquake. It's more damage. Plus, if they decide to not shield, it'll be nice. But also, if they do shield, we are going to be outpaced to the second one here. They decide to go for CMP. Great. I think we end up surviving unless it's return as well. Um, and then we can just switch to Dragonite after this. They have a ton of extra energy. But Dragonite has fast attack damage, and we still have the shield as well. So going to be able to just farm this all the way down, and that'll be GG. My Dragonite, not great. But... Um, yeah, it's fine, obviously. I decide to stay in this matchup. Uh, probably a mistake, but I can at least pressure them with the possible the possibility of a superpower. Um, although I don't really go up to the move here, but that's fine. Cloud Sire is really good against Vigoroth. Um, this is probably one of my earlier games. Well, obviously, this is the first game of the set. So, or the second game of the set. So I hadn't really come up with a strategy, but you really just want to go into Cloud Sire here. It's a great, great matchup. Obviously, you're resisting the counters, and um, the body slams don't do that much. Cloud Sire is super bulky. Um, going to be able to get the farm down here, hopefully. I mean, I think we're going to live two anyways. I go for the Stone Edge just to get to um, the Switch Clock, since obviously we end up throwing before them. But 
um, we ended up staying the matchup way too long because they threw a move and we threw a move. Now this is going to get close to KOing. We could just come in Dragonite to farm it all the way down. Okay. Probably just going to let it... Well, no, we don't have to let it go because if it is a Shadow Ball, I can farm it all the way down. That ends up going to be giving us a lot of energy if they do come back in with the Vigoroth, though. They are going to get the... Um, Oh, no, they didn't have enough health, so GG. Lantern in the back, so that would have been actually pretty tough for us. Quagsire in the front. Okay, I've already noted now we're going fast into the Vigroths. Um, Cloudsire is tough. Obviously has access to Stone Edge, which is going to be super effective against the Dragonite, but the problem is that they can actually just bait us with the Aqua Tails, which is tough. Um, but that's fine. Okay, in the one shield scenario, um, you want to go triple Stone Edge. But to be honest, if you want to go for the zeros, you want to go uh, Earthquake and a Stone Edge. So that's what I'm going for here. Um, always playing out into that scenario at least. They over farm by quite a bit, so I actually end up going for the move before they did. I usually would just wait for them to throw. But I'm also a little scared of them throwing two here. We probably still survive a Body Slam. I mean, we're just so bulky. No, we don't. Okay. So you can make a choice here to come in Skarmory or Dragonite because they're only going to get one move against the Skarmory and the Rock Slide's only neutral. So we start, could start building up to a big um, um, energy advantage against a possible Quagsire here. I think I might have called it Clodsire before. Yeah, I go for the Brave Bird and Dip because um, it can do a ton of damage. And they end up having Tentacruel in the back, which is not bad for us. Um, probably get the Shield here and then I can basically get two sky attacks against everything that's left um they probably just oh i was gonna say don't even shield this but i guess we're just gonna stay in here Ugh, acid spray but the dragon claw i think does ko from here uh to note here this tentacle is not um shadow but i did see a ton of shadow tentacles in my uh in my games yesterday with this team Again, with the Altaria, I haven't seen anything better than just going Dragonclaw and Dip, but to be honest, I could just go Skarmory right away, but I do like doing a lot of damage to this before we switch, just giving me an option later in the game. Um, they do switch right away into this Talonflame. I think this is the game where I go straight for Bright Bird, which I like doing in this scenario, but they could get an extra f amount of farm if they don't shield, but we've already got a shield advantage, so I could actually shield and farm down maybe. But not going to risk it. Going to come in with the Dragonite, farm this down. They don't really get too much. In fact, they might not even get the Incinerate. Yeah, they don't even get the Incinerate damage if they do come in with the Altaria. It could be awkward because I actually do have to throw a move into this. Um, but I can go for the No Shield into the Sky Attack. It doesn't. It's not like it does that much. Um, so I want to go for an Energy Advantage, I believe. Oh no, I try to go for a Shield Advantage. So if they do end up shielding this, I can go for a lot more energy. Something like eight Mud Shots. Um, and then I decide I can shield this too because I have such an energy advantage. If it ends up being like a, a whiz cash in the back, it wouldn't be that bad. Um, because obviously we have that shield still remaining, but ends up being a, um, Whimsicott. Obviously Grass Knot is neutral or Seed Bomb is neutral against us, but two of these moves KOs, but they do outpace. So no, we need to note that and not go for a, um, a CMP. So I believe it takes five fairy winds to get to seed bombs. So we can go up uh, like three or four here and not be too uh, risky. And then obviously we just need to go for a stone edge against the Altaria. It's great energy management here. Um, pat on the back to myself. Um, all right, Vigoroth in the lead. It's not too bad, but we do have to shield before they do. So it is nice for them to know that they can shield and dip or they could go for the move and dip if they wanted. Um, but we do have a lot of energy still here on Dragonite, and they do end up coming in with Amanda Buzz. Um, I end up going to the Sewer Power just to do damage, and then I'm probably going to come in with a Clod Sire. Yeah, because we can go for the Stone Edges. And Dark Pulse doesn't do too much, um, and then Snarl obviously not going to be doing very much damage at all. It's an energy generation uh, fast attack, so I'm um, going to go for the Stone Edge here on good timing. Again, the timing here is 147. Um... Yeah, if you need timing information, definitely pvpoke.com is where to get it. Someone in the comments yesterday was messaging about that. So yeah, definitely pvpoke will tell you a lot about move timings. So we can live with Dark Pulse here, so I'm not, I'm not too uh, worried about going up to more energy here. Switch is almost up. Um, they do come in with the Vigoroth. We don't have to panic. 
they don't do very much damage with their fast attacks. Um, and then I was going to say we could come into Dragonite and farm down, but this is okay too. It pressures them to throw Body Slam, which we obviously resist. They wouldn't have made it to the Rock Slide, so... They do come in with the Talon Flame. I think I go for the Brave Bird here. Oh no, I go for the Sky Attack. Okay, great. I was about to say, probably not worth it to go for the Brave Bird in this situation because they're 100% kind of shield. Um, and so I could possibly get to another move here, and I do make it to this Brave Bird, which is uh, probably going to KO, considering we got a lot of steel, steel Wings in against it. Yeah, GG. Um, could Yeah, I was about to say, could just come in with this. It doesn't really matter. We have a shield still, and this is going to pressure it, and basically KO, and that's going to be GG. I actually didn't see too much Manda Buzz today, um, or yesterday and today, I should say. Um, anytime they switch in with a Charger Bug, this is obviously just beyond broken. Um, super effective to throw the Stone Edge. Stone Edge also not going to KO from here. Um, so might as well go up to decent energy. Um, still throwing on good timing. Uh, I didn't know if this was going to KO at the at the time so just to show you here doesn't ko and we can honestly go for some massive farm down or i could go up to 100 energy and then throw as well um yeah i'd probably end up throwing energy here i don't know maybe they switch i don't remember going for this massive of a farm down but obviously i played this game yesterday so um yeah i guess i do just go for the farm down. okay they come back in go with stone edge here and then probably dip into uh, Dragonite. Um, gonna get to this Dragon Claw before them too. Probably this KOs, and even if it doesn't, we're not gonna shield, but I'm pretty sure it does KO. Actually, they end up living, very nice. Uh, Decidueye, not the most bulky mon. Um, they do end up having a Lantern here in the back, so it's kind of great to see it here. I probably will throw a shield. I think we went for CMP here on the Surf. The tough part about the Lanterns is the Surf actually does a ton of damage. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go for the shield here, probably. Yeah, then you're going to go for another uh, Dragon Claw. Nice. And we had a little bit of extra energy from the Decidueye, which is why I'd go up to six again, basically go for CMP. Now we can let it go if we want, and that's just GG. They had double electric in the back against our Claude Sire. So Lantern in the front. This is where we're going to see what I was talking about. It is really tough to uh, face Lantern with this team. Well, it's it's not, but it's a little awkward. Um, you're going to have to have shields for Dragonite. Claude Sire is still getting hit for super effective from the Surfs, although you do double resist the Sparks, which is nice. Um, I do like for going for CMP on the second one. That way we can at least get a shield. Also, we'll see if I do it in this game, but there is a strat I really love, and it's letting the Dragon Knight go down in the ones and then fully farming down with the Skarmory. Okay, great. I'm glad we see it here because this is something you guys should employ. It's actually perfect here. I don't know if it's based on the Dragon Knight IVs or anything like that, but you end up getting the full six farm down here, and now our Skarmory is totally high on energy here so uh gonna be able to come in with a cloud sire after this brave bird just want to go for a dip here um they end up having a bomb of snow which is not great but they don't get to one shot us or anything like that even though it is a shadow so i do get the stone edge off which is going to one shot them um and then i can go for maybe well can't really go for a farm down here but we're never gonna get one shot by one move if they let us cmp on the next move then i will just let's um, allow a CMP and shield probably. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to shield this because this is a lot of damage I can definitely get off. Obama Snow should definitely be throwing before us, um, pressure the shield so that they don't get pressured and then they can go for a farm down here instead of just being destroyed there. So that's going to be GG. Um, they don't have any energy on, or they have like five, six, seven, eight. They're just going to let us farm them down. Um, Rockslide wouldn't have KO'd there. Altaria, again, this is the strat that I've employed. Um, maybe you guys can try it out too, but I've found this is the best way to deal with Altaria. Sometimes they even throw the energy at the Skarmory just because they don't know what else to do if their team's weak against in the back. They do come in with a Vigoroth. Sometimes I go with Brave Bird here, but usually I want to go up to 100 energy in this matchup before throwing a move. Um, they do go with Rock Slide. Now I can think about going for the Brave Bird. Um, I do want to throw before they get to another Rock Slide, though. So, and they're at an, a low enough life total that they're going to get close to the death here, or the faint here as well. They come back in with Altaria. They kind of lost count, I think, of our energy, but we can maybe get another shield here, or they let it go down, and then we see what's in the back. Um, okay, Skarmory is doing work, and it is Scrafty, so Claude Sire's way op against scrafty scrafty probably not as bad as you would think in this cup um dawn fan i believe it could have charm by the way 
Um, but this one looks like it has counter. It does have body slam, which is... Can it have charm? I'm not sure. I know it has like mud slap. Okay, I go up to the superpower and then um, bait it. Um, probably want them to to shield and then come in Claude Sire. Yeah, this is a nice one. Gonna go for the earthquake and then... Um, well, this is probably a two stone edge range, but you know what? Let's go for the earthquake and then if they end up KOing us anyways, then we'll at least get the Dragonite some extra farm in this matchup. The Dawn fan not going to be very good against either of our mon left. It is pretty low and the fact that it's body slam means that uh, Skarmory is going to be really good against the Dawn fan as well. So uh, it is shadow also, if you noted. So um, opponents pretty spicy. Um, I go for CMP here, which is not the thing to do. I should have thrown earlier, but I also didn't think they were going to go this far up on farm, which was kind of weird. Um, but I definitely should have thrown earlier. I just thought they were going to CMP and I was going to go after them though. So I don't know. I end up coming back in with the Dragonite. I figure I don't want this to get farmed down and I figure both of our Mon are good against the Mon in the back. So um, just going to let Dragonite do its thing. Just going to let it go down for sure. Well, maybe I don't. Yeah. They have no energy on Dawn Fan, so it is nice to note. Although this means that we're gonna CMP on the next one, so I have to go for it. I have to go for the CMP because they threw the Aerial Ace, which is less energy than the Dark Pulse, so yeah. Again, this is not gonna do enough damage to the Skarmory. Um, we just have to make sure that we don't let them catch, but luckily it's different turn timing moves. So two turn versus three turn, we can go one four seven and never let them catch. Um Plus, we can go up to like 100 energy. We're not really being uh, threatened by anything, so yeah. We can get an extra farm here on the Don Pan as well. Look at Tongue here in the lead. Um, this Look at Tongue's at 1411. I'm just noticing that right now, which is really weird because I believe that I'm at 2850 right now with this team. Um, so it's, it is working out really nice. So. Not a lower level person or anything. Maybe it's the only look at tongue they have. Maybe it's the best buddy and they forgot to put it, the buddy on there. Maybe they ran out of candy. Not too sure. Maybe they went in with the wrong one. I know I type in look at tongue at the top and then I'll put in the first one. It's sometimes it's not um, sorted by highest CP and it's sorted by like recent and that can be uh, a mistake. Anyways, I have the shield advantage. So when I have the shield advantage, sometimes I just like going for the brave bird. It's not every time, but I would say it's about 70, 80% of the time. Um, yeah, I can just come in with Claude Sire and farm this down. I could also come in with Dragonite and farm this down. Either way is fine. I prefer Claude Sire. This person threw Grass Knot or Power Whip. I don't know if they saw what I came in with, but you know what? We have two shields against the Dragals. I'm just going to go Earthquake. Um, no need to bait anything. Um, the last thing you want to do is throw a Stone Edge and they call it right. Um, Oh, I let them throw the energy in a Dragonite here. Yeah, I knew that, that we had extra energy here on Dragonite, but it, I didn't think I was going to make it to the move where they were going to throw. But I wanted to basically use Dragonite as another shield here. And this is fine to just throw right away, by the way, because they are low on energy, or they have no energy actually on the uh, on the Lickitung. And they're super low, so I can farm them down probably before they even get to a move. But we have a shield anyway, so that's going to be GG here on this one. Charger Bug lead. I mean, it's not the worst lead. Man, I remember this matchup, though. So I think this matchup was this morning. And um, maybe it was last night still. I had 9.37. That could be AM or PM. <laughs> um, I th think they threw the x -Scissor. Was that this game? Maybe it wasn't. I didn't see, actually. Dang, after all that. Let me know if it was x or if it was Discharge. Um, yeah, we won the one shield there. They ended up coming in with a bomb of snow. I decided to just throw this energy and then obviously I need to not do anything. Let this go down, come in with Skarmory and now I'm aligned in the good matchup and they have Lantern in the back. Again, even though it does have Surf, which is super effective, they do have to land, I think, three. Um, and then we just have to go for Earthquakes, which is nice. And, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, don't try to CMP them though. I'm sure Claude Sire loses that CMP. But, uh, no, oh, that's GG. We can let this, we can let them everything go and just farm down. I'm going to take a drink of water during this. And we have the stone edges. Nice. All right, Vigoroth lead. You guys saw this before. We have to go down shields in the ones, but then we can farm up a bit. 
Um, you want to throw your move as late as possible. Um, at the very least, it shows that you are getting up to a superpower. Uh, but also, it gives us extra energy if they decide not to shield. And if they do decide to shield, we can make a choice on whether or not we want to shield again um, and farm down, which I most likely want to do. I like when he switched with this team. Um, Skarmory is very RPS. I decided to go for this damage here so that I can come in with Skarmory and then um, go, go for a Sky Attack against it. Otherwise, it's not going to be in Sky Attack range, although it was the Shadow, and I didn't note that before, so not great there. But as long as you have the timing down, you know not to um, CMP. Oh, yeah, I, uh, Tentacruel does win CMP against Skarmory. Trust me, I know. We'll say from experience and terrible, terrible experiences, to be honest. <laughs> Luckily, we have a lot of energy here, so we are able to go for this move against the uh, Trevenant. Um, Clotsire is not great against Trevenant, so but they are going to have to throw a move here, I believe. We are not going to get fully farmed down, which is nice, but they can go for CMP. Really nice of them because they have a high attack stat. Obviously, Trevenant wins CMP against most things in Great League. Um, the only thing is... I need to get to a Stone Edge, but I can't let them catch either. They still have a catch. Oh, man. What was in the lead? Um, we don't have to throw right away, so I go for a little bit of extra energy. This can actually farm this all the way down, and actually we're going to end up getting this Dragon Claw anyways, and that's GG. Um, I did note there was a... There, or I should note to y'all that there was actually a decent amount of Trevenant today. Um, when I say decent, I think I saw three, but that's more than I've seen in the last, like, three days. So Trevenant coming up a little bit um obama snow definitely coming up and obama snow in the lead is just terrible for us because usually it is a lantern in the back so do note that team comp if you are running this comp obama snow in the front lantern in the back i top left <laughs> all right uh lantern again we can go for the cmp here on the second one if they throw we let it go coming with the skarmory or let it let this go down come with the skarmory farm down you, I'm glad we saw this multiple times here because I started noting this strategy and this is just fantastic. Getting rid of the hardest counter with the thing that it counters. Well, one, it feels great. feels bad for the opponent. And then two, um, it is just great. <laughs> I do go for the Brave Bird here and then I'm probably going to dip, but this is a little risky um, because I could just go for a Sky Attack into a Brave Bird. But if you throw a Brave Bird first, they're definitely not going to shield. But this can be tough because it's going to be Ice Beam or um, or Water Pulse. And that's not going to be great. Um, I do go for the throw here on CMP, but they do catch. Um, you probably do win the CMP against Mantine, I believe. But um, yeah, they caught on Vigoroth. Not great. Again, we need an Earthquake to uh, KO this. So I'll probably go for the Earthquake. Not throwing on CMP, so going to get a little bit of extra energy. Um... I believe they're at 9, though, so I do have to throw right away after that. But we got one extra mud shot in, which is nice. Um, this would KO. Ooh, didn't KO. But we farm down, and uh, probably we get to the stone edge. But, um, okay. We throw right here. They did have actually a little bit... Okay, I remember now. They actually did have all the extra energy because they went over... Um, way over the uh, ice beam energy there. And I'm going to shield this, but technically ice beam doesn't threaten us. But I don't want them to throw an ice beam into an aerial ace. But at the same time, if they throw an Aerial Ace into an Ice Beam, that's not great either. But we technically would survive. So, you know, not the worst. In fact, probably the best. So, decent amount of Mantine in there today. I think I saw also three. Um, Altaria, this is already the third or fourth Altaria. So, seen a lot of Altaria as well today. Maybe it's Steelix time again to be honest. So, uh, yeah, we get the shield and then we come in with Skarmory. Oh, this is the guy that threw a move into Skarmory. And I was just like, okay, that's weird. You, I gave you switch advantage and you threw it kind of away, but, uh, now I don't know what to do. So I decided to go for the Brave Bird again. Um, I did go up to the max energy here. I went up to seven steel wings. Um, it's nice, but I get KO'd and now I'm like, okay, maybe Dragonite can come in and then just farm it down. Or I could come in Claude Sire and shield and farm down. But I think I'm gonna come in Dragonite and hope to, to KO it on the uh when I bring it in, but no, we get damage registration error, which sucks. But uh it's fine. We get Cloud Sires and Farm here, and um we have two shields, so hopefully we're cooking. Uh they do come in with Altaria. Remember they threw energy the first time around. I technically could have let this go for a little bit and maybe get a little bit of extra energy. Because if I think I remember right, there's actually gonna be Obama Snow in the back. Oh no, they end up shielding. Okay, I'll probably shield this, even though I don't think I need to. 
um, just because I have two shields, they have zero, and I can go for a little bit of extra energy here. Again, in the zeros, Earthquake, Stone Edge, GG. Body Slam doesn't even do too much, so who cares? But I do want to have energy against the Altaria um, to throw a Stone Edge at it. So we'll probably let a, another Body Slam or two come off here and uh, just gain an advantage. I probably end up shielding this Abom this uh, I almost said, this uh, Vigoroth here. And again, the Stone Edge will KO. Just going to go up to 100 energy, throw the Stone Edge, get close to another Stone Edge for the Altaria. Energy management is essential on this team. Claude Sire is an energy monster, and believe it or not, the energy on um, Dragonite really matters because if you get to one of those moves, it hits so hard being the Shadow Dragonite. All right, Steelix. Sometimes I switched into Skarmory here, but I decided that that's not a good idea, and actually switching in Claude Sire is fine. Um, you want to hit anyways with a... Um, Superpower later, so the clocks are desynced a bit here, which is nice. Uh, again, Earthquake and Stone Edge. Just want to really pound that into y'all guys. Uh, Earthquake and Stone Edge. I end up going for the CMP here. Not a great idea. <laughs> but I think they're at 10, actually. So, actually, probably a great idea. We want Shield Advantage as much as possible. And to be honest, Skarmory's not the worst against Steelix, guys. So um, I ended up going to this CMP here. So I went for CMP last time, but I had one energy more of Mudshot damage than they thought um, because I wanted to throw on their 10. So I think that ended up tricking them into how much energy I had. And instead of throwing on CMP there, they missed it by one turn. Um, I come into the Skarmory because it can soak this damage the best, and then maybe I have for later but also i switch right here right away but they switched i wanted to get that little bit of extra energy and then maybe ko it and then they come in with a steelix um half the shield hopefully well we definitely didn't throw the move otherwise we would have cmp'd but um it's fine skarmory can take out the uh the steelix at this point anyways with this superpower and we definitely make it it's gonna still take like three dragon tails to ko us Unless we throw the superpower and then it definitely KOs us in like two. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to end up doing a ton of damage to it. So nice. And GG. All right, Quagsire. Um, okay, they come in with Tentacruel. Again, I like to throw this move before coming in with a Skarmory. Skarmory double resisting the poison jabs. Uh, but taking taking neutral damage with the... Oh, I end up coming with Clawsire. Okay. Hmm... So I think this is a triple water team. I did see a lot of this. Maybe I'm judging it based on that. Um, gonna have to shield. Going for a big energy advantage. Clocks are a little weird. I'm assuming it's Toxapex in the back. And uh, Skarmory is actually really good against Toxapex. So. And they have no energy on the Quagsire right now. So I'm going to be able to get at least an Earthquake off, which is going to do a ton of damage. The only thing is I'm going to have to shield the Dragonite no matter what. So it really tends to be a bait here. Um, they're going to go up to a ton of energy here as well. Um, they're probably going to get six to seven more, depending on how much it takes me to go into the Stone Edge here. Technically, I could have swapped, but it would have been really risky. Um, they went CMP, but they don't want to go up to the CMP, right? Because if I shield here, they at least have double Aqua Tail, so then they take shield and KO. I have to shield this. I really would like the Dragonite for the back in match, uh, for this Quagsire later. I know they're going to switch right away. It does end up being the Toxapex. Um, I go up to the move before switching. This Toxapex matchup is very Skarmory orient, uh, winning. Um, it's just that they're, they're dealing no damage with their fast attacks. And Toxapex is just a really bulky mon, so it doesn't do that much damage. And Brine is a terrible move. So, yeah, I'm going to be able to eat a lot of the Brines here. I go for the Sky Attack because I'm pretty sure two Sky Attacks KOs. So I'm going to go up a lot of energy here before throwing this next Sky Attack. I think I'm going to throw one before getting the double, if I remember right. But if you have the chance to double up, definitely double up. Actually, I should just double up, but I go one before just in case. I don't even know what the just in case is for, but I'm going to throw it, go up to two moves and then combo play this. They have a shield. They know that, though, and I'm pretty sure this guy just top lefts or just doesn't shield this. Again, energy management is the name of the game with this team. You got to make sure you're throwing at great timings. This is definitely a tentacle in the back. Um, that's how all of them run. Um, again, I go up to a move just so I have that move later, um, just because I know this dom this matchup is so dominant. And since I just played this matchup in the back end, I know I can just go double sky attack. Um, 
they're not throwing here. I think they're trying to wait for a brave bird and then and then throw because they love a brave bird, but I would never throw that there. Technically, I could have won CMP, but I want to have extra energy going into the whiz cash. I want to throw a brave bird into it if I can. Technically, I live another brine, so absolutely perfectly ready to take another one. And they're going to be about six away from the next one, so um, I'm just going to go up to 100 energy here. I thought about going for a farm down, but technically I didn't know exactly how far away they were in the moment, but I was pretty sure they were like four or five away. So they do come in with a whiz cash. I'd throw the brave bird right away just so that they get less farm. Um, since they're going to be able to farm me down anyways with this, and I don't want this to be on my cloud sire, so I can't hard switch either. Um, they stay in, so I throw this. Um, they're going to get a move. I probably should shield it as well, even though it is a water move here. This is definitely the Scald, but Scald does a ton of damage to Dragonite. Dragonite's just so frail. Actually, everything's hitting it for so much. Ends up being the Tentacruel in the back. I'll just go for Double Earthquake. I believe against the normal one, you live two Scalds anyways, but it is actually pretty close. Also, we double resist the Poison Jabs on this guy too. Looks like we do not live two Scalds, so make your choice. Um, they don't live in Earthquake though, I'm pretty sure, so who cares? If they shield, we shield. I love that saying on this channel. They shield, we shield, boom. Yeah, and then um, I think it's 777 seven, seven for the Skulls, so I go up for a little bit more energy. Um, Whizcash is pretty low. I probably can just go for a Stone Edge. Um, yeah. Plus, I want to make sure I get the move off. They're only going to try to CMP me, I think, on the Earthquake. But yeah, Stone Edge able to KO there, so nice. Hisuya and Electrode, not one I've seen before. This is the first time, first and only. I, I did play the rest of the set, I'm pretty sure, and that was the last sets I had. Um, ends up being a double in the back. I do go for the superpower, which would obviously be super effective, but I don't know if it has wild charge, so I'm going to go into Clodsire here. Um, in case it has wild charge, which is going to be super effective against the Skarmory. Unfortunately, this person had payback. You just can't make the right choices sometimes, and you just don't know. Um, obviously, if this guy had wild charge, I go for a weird timing here because I'm going to go over 100 energy, so technically it is still slightly efficient. It just isn't the most efficient. And then I try to go for a farm down here, but I'm going to get KO'd. <sighs> Probably come in Dragonite. Yeah, just hoping that this energy can go somewhere, and it does end up being a bomb of snow, so I throw this, and Skarmory is good against everything in the back, so Skarmory is going to be our lifeblood here. Um, the longer they stay in this matchup, also the worse for them, because, well, they must have Icy Wind, I bet, but uh, me getting to moves for the Suing Electrode is great for me. I'm going to go for the Brave Bird, just to make sure that it does KO, because we did get Icy Wind, which did lower her attack. And we still have a shield, so I'm okay losing this defense. It's not like I'm going to get a fast attack down by this Obama Snow. Um, also, Icy Wind does cost more than something like uh, Weather Ball, so that's good for me. Thank you guys again for the support on this channel. If you like the video, like hit the like button. If you like to watch a lot of videos from the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button. Again, both help the YouTube algorithm. Um, what will I say about this team? So you have a lot of pressure with the Dragonite uh, fast attacks, just the Shadow Dragonite. Um, I don't think I would ever use regular Dragonite. I think you really need that Shadow damage. My Shadow Dragonite is terrible IVs. Um, I don't know off the top of my head here, but um, yeah, if you have one, use it. Um, and then Claude Sire is really good against a lot of the meta, especially like Vigoroth. I saw a ton of Tentacruel, Toxapex today. Um, really though, that Vigoroth match is nice. And if you see Charger Bug, which we don't really see that often, I'll give you that. Um, it's fantastic against Charger Bug. Obviously, you just hard, hard, hard counter it. So uh, yeah, again, thank you so much for the support here on the channel, and I will catch you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video, and if you want to continue to support me, definitely click that subscribe button. You'll see any content coming out, and if you want another video on the same league for some more tips and tricks to other teams, check that video out right there, and I'll see you in the next one.